main thing it's set up now, I think we get the routine on here. Yeah, good. So holding the goal. So you put the goal club in the middle of your torso. Just let the club just sit down there. It'll mm -hmm. just help your left arm, hand, and the club go in a straighter line, okay? What it will also do as well, so your logo now is visible, so your thumb is off the side now. If we look at your left hand grip there, there's no vision of that logo at all. So your left hand is further around, I guess, anti-clockwise to the left in a sort of weaker position, okay? And that's your natural hang of your left arm. If you let your arm just hang down by your yeah, side, yeah. both your hands kind of face sort of part. They don't sort of walk around that way, do no. you? So yes. you, sort of, you never hold the club in this position. You'd hold it in that way. And, and if the club shaft is slightly forward, it will help you put in that left hand better, okay? You go through the sequence there now. You can do your, your spine tilt thing there, okay? You're getting in that good set there. You can still see the logo on the club. You've got a nice shoulder tilt there. There. Okay, your lower half there, and your top half just leaning back just a little bit. Okay, whereas if we look at this left hand one here, you look to me very much kind of just all on that left. So if we just lines up from your both edge of your feet there, you can see yourself leaning on that left side. So your left arm's gonna be across your torso more. Okay, grip's gonna be weaker. Now then, I claim of our, one of our first ever lessons that we'd never look at your wrist hinge, would we? And maybe saying this yeah. is going to sort of cause you to start thinking about it, okay? But you didn't think about it, okay? It just happened, right? From that better setup, all right? That was your backswing before. Not bad. This is your backswing now. Now, again, it's not computer edited or any way, shape, or form. This is just you in the golf club from a better position. Turn to me back, he says. There we go. So, good turn. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen you there. No, it's funny. Ever. <laughs> and in some ways, I didn't really want or necessarily encourage that. No. But just, just so by starting in a better position to start with, you were well, able you to said, do you, that. You yeah. said I could never do it because of this hand. Yeah, 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 exactly. So now that's going to help you create more power. Now, the key thing is, is getting this lead hip, okay, to move towards that red line. So if we look here now as you start coming down, there she goes into that left line there. There's impact, your left hip's on that line, okay? Now this one here now, what we see is only a little bit, and the line might be too thick to sort of show it, okay? If I put that down there now, if we zoom in here, you start moving down. As you come into impact now, you can sort of see how you're jumping, I sort of move back up and away a little bit, yeah? before you come to the golf ball here, the golf ball, yeah? Uh, and your hip sort of just moves a little bit up and back to the, as we're looking kind of up in that direction, sort of like, back up and away, which is just a sign of someone saying, please don't go right, just try and hit the ball left, yeah? So in an exaggerated fashion, rather than going this way, you've gone like that, yeah, yeah. yeah, to try and hit the ball left, okay? Because you kind of are aware that the club face now is going to be slightly open, so the ball's going to go off to the right with the face aiming that way to the right, and you're then going to try and swing it left. Now, the way you do that is by moving your hip back and away. When I said to you, I said, try and swing the club left towards me and move it to target, you went, oh, that bloody hurts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're not going to do it, are you, okay? So what we're going to see, once that grip is in a stronger position, the ball now will come off the club face a bit lower. So you probably can't see the launch angle much there, but the launch angle is a little bit lower anyway, through to a good finish position. If a few golf balls now start going a little bit left and just sort of staying there, in time, that's going to think, well, hang on a second, I don't want to keep missing the ball left. I can now move my hips to target and get the sensation of swinging, if you look at those little blue arrows on the screen there, towards that right-hand arrow and making more of a swing path that way, knowing full well that club face is going to be nice and straight and the ball is going to come at the target. Not that, oh, this club face is going to be aiming at the right. I know I'll fix that by moving the other way with my hips and my arms go left, yeah? It all kind of stems really from setup, getting in a better setup, getting that logo visible, if you can see, get your left hand on there, get that shoulder tilted so you're a little bit more kind of top half behind the ball a little bit. I'm not talking feet or whatever, so yeah. a few inches and so on either way. And then from there, your hips now. That I would say is possibly the best back I've ever seen you make. <laughs> good extension, club above your head there, good rotation, so no sway. Results, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. When your left arm's longer, what, look what it can do. Mm. When your left arm's across here, where can it not go? And the thing is, if you went there, when you were going to there with your left arm, if you try to go back further, 
you'd have to collapse the arm. Your arm can't go any further, so the club just can't go back any further, yeah? Yeah, I think that's the prob that should be the problem then, maybe. When you go back that way, your arm is able to just stop and release the club. That's really, really good position, okay? So much better setter. Good top of the back swing, and then we're going to get that hip moving towards target. Once it moves towards target, good strike. As I said, first probably two, maybe two to four weeks, shall we say, you'll, I use the word suffer, it's not really bad, but you'll struggle with the ball going too far left. And too far. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be missing reads long left if you set up with that position as you are there now. But then in time, you'll start realising how you can sort of manipulate the club. So your swing thought is going to be, I'm going to move my hip to target to change the power. Okay? Because you've got a much better setup. And the sequence now, you can do all that stuff with your kind of pushing your hips backwards so you tilt forward, okay? Just make sure your arm's not there. It's there. Mm. It starts off here now. Your left hand's going to be awkward. Your shoulder and your arm will be quite tight under your arm, but then you'll be locking your arm. Let it just sit down. And the word that you use, and again, it makes sense as, as a good feeling to have. Your left arm just feels longer. Yeah? yeah. If your left arm at a dress feels longer, you know your left side's a bit higher, not this kind of shrugged and yeah. cramped down here. I okay? think that was my sort of thought. Yeah. Before. Yeah, yeah. So I think in my head now, I like that. Yeah, yeah. And I like. Or did you say push your hip to target? You said it was that the way you said it? Well, in terms of, you know, so you just from, from, you said. Just, you know, so that, so that well, with, with the better setup, you'll be able to push it towards target as you hit the golf ball. But in terms of your setup, you can do your yeah. your tilt this way, absolutely fine, okay? But you'll start off with the club in your left hand like you've got it on here, okay? From there now, you can hold the club in your left hand and then use your right hand if need be to push yourself backwards, okay? And then you tilt, yeah. okay? So you're going to get yourself in a slightly sort of there you go position that way, okay? Rather than your hand being back here this way yeah. and then you being yeah. like that, yeah? When you're like, if your left arm this way, your left arm feels quite short, doesn't it? Your right arm feels high and long. If we get this way, the lead arm feels a bit taller and longer. So that feeling of a longer, a longer left arm, so to speak, helps you get that like club. That, yeah. It? So your left shoulder will be higher because this hand's higher than that. One. That's just physics, I suppose, yeah. in some way. Yeah. Yeah, and then you're able to just Push connect exactly, yeah, exactly. Does that make sense? Yeah. Excellent. Brett, have some more then. We'll, have a look, then we'll go through the bag, all right? But very, very, I've got to say that that's the best back swing Sean I've ever seen you make on that one swing there, so.